how appointment system works. We are introducing a built-in appointment system in Listing Pro. First we need to go to WordPress backend dashboard where you can see a command center of Listing Pro. We will click on add-ons. Here you can see different required add-ons for Listing Pro are available. And here is Listing Pro appointment add-on. We need to assure that this add-on should be activated from here. It's activated. Now I will go to my theme options, listing settings and then listing detail page layout manager. Do make sure whatever style you're choosing from here, your appointment must be enabled in slide bar element. Right now I'm moving appointment from disable to enable and now save settings. Now we will go to our pricing plan. This is a paid pricing plan and I want that my appointments should be booked through this only. Make sure your appointments are enabling with this plan. Now any user can set appointment on his listing. We will go to the user's dashboard user's profile then listing listing for appointment it's published and associated with appointment enable paid plan. Here you can see on dashboard an appointment tab. We will click here. And here you're having a start now button to start accepting appointments from all your listings. I'll click on this and now set up appointments. Set the appointment duration for each time slot. From here you can set the duration for each slot. I'll choose 30 minutes. It's global settings and if you set it, if you set all of your listings will appointments and from here you can add listing to accept bookings for appointments. I'll choose listings for appointments. Now this is plus button. I'll click it and it's added in the listing. Now we will be moved to listing details page to check appointments. Now we will check the appointment details from here. On the right side of the page you can see in your sidebar section there is a page of book an appointment. There is a tab of book an appointment. We will click here. It's showing me some available slot for appointments. Basically all these time slots are according to your business hours. If you don't have business hours you won't be able to set appointment. Like today is Thursday and time is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I will get all the appointments until 5 p.m.
now i will set a slot 4:30 pm to 5 pm now i'm landed to a form which is appointment booking form and now i'll set a day saturday but saturday is a day off uh, this will work according to my system's time zone which is set with my system and if you want to set your system's time zone then you need to go settings then from here we will select a time zone it's your choice to select time zone of your choice business hours will work according to that business hours will work according to your time zone now update the associate with the current time zone now if i click on book an appointment you can see first i was having many time slots but now i can see three time slots actually it will show the time slots which the current time zone like it's 4 pm in my local time zone so i can't see my previous appointments here i only can see the time slots which are matching to my local time slots Let me click on 4:30 to 5 p.m. Here is showing me a date, day, and time. And the time slot we can see here is 30 minutes slot. As we have set it from settings and users dashboard, this is user who is having this listing. Let us book it. Adams email address phone number description this is my appointment now we will click book now and awesome job it's mean your request has been submitted to the listing owner Now we will go to the listings owners dashboard. I'll refresh it. Now you can see I have a notice here, one appointment pending for approval. All the pending appointments notifications will be shown here. I can see some tabs here. And right side I can see the user's appointment details. This address of that listing where the users send the approval for appointments. Now we will come back here and here are some tabs in all you will see all the appointments pending in this tab all the listing which are still need to be approved approved all the approved appointments cancels all the cancel listings are here and in expired you can see all the expired listings now we'll click on all tab Here you can see customer name, listing details, date, time slot and status which is pending right now. Here is the action button. If I click here, I can see three options: pending, approve, cancel. I'll choose the approve.
and you can see the status button is green now. Now as you can see my appointment is approved now. Here you can see a calendar tab. If you click on it, it will show you the currently calendar and only approved appointments will be shown on the calendar. No expired or cancelled appointments will be here. And uh, if you click on this appointment, then an information pop-up box appeared which is showing me the user's date, time, phone number and address. And this is the address of the listing, not the user. All the approved appointments will be shown here. Here is an option back to appointments. From clicking here, you will be back to appointment tab. Here is another tab of settings where you can change your appointments time slots. If you want to change or you can add another listing to your appointment.